everyone and welcome back to another Buenos Aires vlog and I truthfully never thought that I would be saying this but today we are celebrating a snow day in Buenos Aires. Literally sounds crazy. I never thought that I would be saying that ever but because I teach virtually in a school in New York they got a snow day today which means I got a snow day today um, and that's really surprising because we are in mid-February right now and this school that I teach at has not had a single two-hour delay or a one-hour delay or a snow day at all this entire school year and you know for New York weather that is a little bit surprising so we are all celebrating the snow day today and it came at the perfect time because next week we actually have a week off from school it's like a president's week winter mid recess something and so the vacation for everyone is starting early and you may be looking at the beautiful flowers that i have back here they were a valentine's gift from michael Aww. and they are just so incredibly pretty i love them so much so we're gonna have a breakfast um michael went and got me some media lunas to celebrate having a snow day and we're gonna hope that he doesn't steal it from me but i feel like we need to catch up because i have not picked up the camera which for what seems like a really long time, but you're watching this and you're like, Chanel, like I just watched your video last week. Hopefully, I don't even know how to describe it. I had like this instant spark of inspiration and I just wanted to become an interior designer and change like the whole entire room that we had in the bedroom. So we're in the midst of doing that. And today we're actually gonna go to Onse. And I literally feel like you guys are like Chanel. What foreigner goes to Onse this many times and it's me. Guilty as charged because we used to live closer to Onse and there's a print shop over there that does really big poster prints like the one you've seen in my house before. Our local print shop here does not do the big poster prints that I need. So we're going to make the trip over there and we're probably going to walk around for a little bit and print out the new posters that I want for the new bedroom. But I'm not going to show you the bedroom yet because it's not done yet. When it is done, I will show you. and we didn't realize that it was back to school season and it was absolutely packed with families and children and it was just kind of a nightmare but then we went to my old local print shop and I printed out two posters that I wanted they were like the same size as these two that you see back here they were a little bit more pricey than before when I bought these ones originally I think they were like 3,000 ish pesos but that was in like October I think and these two that I just got of the same size and color were about 5,000 pesos. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a little bit of reorganization and like redecorating in the living room. So that way we can start decorating the bedroom, which I'm really excited about. It's coming along together so nicely and I'm so excited for you to see it. Not yet though, eventually. in our bedroom. We're going to line them up against this wall. I start the posters all the way over there where I have those ones right now. Yeah, then you should move. Also, we've printed all of these papers on regular paper. Like they're not laminated, they're not protected in any way. So they have gone through a little bit of damage, just like a little bit, a tad bit, 
with the move and everything but i feel like where they got the most damage from is that in our old place um we had like the ac pointed right at these posters in our last room and like from the ac you can see that they're just like a little bit i don't know i don't want to say creepily but like you can kind of see they seem like a little bit damp from being in the room it's nothing crazy it's just a small thing that i notice from looking at them all the time so if you are interested in like printing out your own posters or pictures and like hanging them up on your wall you really don't need um, a frame and you really don't need to laminate them they're fine as they are just regular printed on common paper Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. Michael and I made it to a brand new store today. I actually saw it while going on Instagram last night. So we came here today and it's called El Mercat Villa Crespo and literally blowing my mind. Like better than the pictures, it's so freaking cool. There's so many amazing restaurants to eat at. Michael and I have not eaten at anything yet because we're just like roaming around and like thinking about what we want to eat. Literally, it's so cool. The aesthetic here is just amazing. I'm so happy that we just casually found this like literally so cool um so we're walking around right now it smells amazing in here and you can't see me right now but literally smells so good there's so many different restaurants from like asian to japanese to like new york pizza um to crepes and spanish food as well so we're really excited to just eat something that correctly i don't know i got mine with miso michael got his with hot chicken and michael also got a stick of yakitori and we're just waiting on that right now he went to go grab it and i'm so excited the food just smells so freaking good i've never had hot onigiri before really good really spicy it's not my first onigiri We've had this before, like maybe three times in Buenos Aires. We always come across like some festival where they're selling them. Nice, good, and fresh. And I like how I'm able to hold it well. See what we got. And it has a good sauce on the inside. in Villa Crespo right now. We have never come to this neighborhood to like walk around. We've gone on buses throughout this neighborhood, but we have never actually walked throughout it. It's pretty. There's a lot of cute buildings. It looks like there's a lot of cute cafes and stuff. And we were thinking about taking the bus home, but we did not have the best bus experience coming here um, to the place we were just at. So I think we're just gonna like maybe walk home. pharmacy on our way home because I have been using this sunscreen ever since I left New York. I've been using this for like six or seven months now and it had lasted me a really long time. 50 FPS sport version but I ran out of it unfortunately. So I had to pick up a new one and I got this one. I'm gonna try it for the very first time. The sunscreen here was actually kind of expensive and I was not anticipating spending like almost 9,000 pesos on this. This was a little bit more expensive because it's a higher FPS. My skin just burns so easily so I need any extra protection that I can get. And I also needed to get a new like chapstick. This one also has FPS, like the sun here is no joke. So I always try to protect my skin as much as I possibly can. And together, this was like 12,000 pesos. It was a lot more than I was anticipating on spending, but I've been looking for a more affordable sunscreen for a pretty long time. Um, but all of them are like kind of expensive, honestly. So I did get this 
because I cannot risk having a sunburn in the sun. It will just be the worst experience ever, especially for my skin because I just burn so easily. We're also about to take Max to the dog park right now because it's really nice weather, not too hot, not too crazy outside. So we're gonna let him run and roam a little bit, but we do leave him in his crate every time that we leave the house for a really long time because Max has a history of chewing the walls, chewing the furniture, breaking TVs, chewing controllers. And I feel like this is a little bit controversial, but it really is for his best interest because his separation anxiety is so severe. Like if he's gone without us, like he really just needs to get that anxiety out. And for him, that's chewing, that's running around, that's crying, that's barking sometimes. But when he's in here, he knows he's safe. And it's like his home it's where he sleeps at night and where he is when we're out during the day. And now he gets to come out freak. Oh, and he's here. Oh, there he is, the main And Max is my first dog. And when his anxiety and separation anxiety was so severe in New York, like he literally ate our couch, he ate our walls, he broke our TV. He ate like Michael's computer, Michael's controller, our TV controller, like he just ate and destroyed everything like i am not kidding but he's my first dog i've thought about sometimes about like getting another dog because he would just love someone to like just play with but we're not in a situation right now where we can get another dog and i know my cat polka would absolutely hate that so for right now it's a dog and the cat and i don't think we're going to get another pet anytime soon dog park was really fun. Um, Michael and I were actually thinking about going to Palermo today, tonight, to go to, it's like close to El Hipodromo, to go to this event called Burger Fest. And we were really thinking about it because, you know, the American in us just has to go to any event, festival, whatever that has to do with burgers. But I'm not sure if we're gonna go now. We were like out for the whole entire day today and tomorrow we have like really fun plans, which I'm so excited to bring you guys along with us for. And I just think that we're not gonna be able to go to Burger Fest this year, which <gasps> is a shame. It really is. So we'll see, maybe we'll, have the Ghanas to go later, but for right now, we are hooked on a Netflix show. If you've been watching my channel for like a really long time, like if you're a real one from New York, you know that we have been obsessed. Like our comfort TV reality show is Love is Blind and a new season came out and we are very excited to watch it. We're so happy. Um, we're like in the midst of episode two right now and I just love this show so much. So if you're looking for a good reality American TV show to like just binge this is your reality TV love show fix I highly recommend it I don't recommend like a whole lot of shows but I really recommend this one also update on Berlin I did finish Berlin and I was pleasantly surprised by how much I liked it like I really did not like the beginning of it but as I kept watching I just felt more and more attached to the characters with the storyline with the plot with all of it and it seems like they're going to come out with a season two of Berlin which is very exciting because I liked it a lot so also um, Berlin or La Casa de Papel was the very first Spanish show I watched in its entirety in Spanish. So that show in itself is like my favorite of all time, but also it has like a super special place in my heart because it was my very first one Aww. that I ever watched ever. And I think I watched it, I don't remember if I watched it in Spain when I studied in Spain or when I came back, but either way, love that show. <laughs> We do not have a strainer, and when we were in Ulti, we were this close to getting a strainer. We were literally in line for like 10 minutes at one of those like little side street vendors that just like have all of the random stuff you don't know you need until you went in it. And like we weren't intending on buying a strainer, but we saw it, it was for an okay price. We're in line for like maybe five minutes, if not more. And by time we get up to the cash register, she was like, no, you need a minimum of 3,000 pesos worth of things to buy this one thing. And we weren't paying with a card, we were paying with cash. So I thought that was a little bit weird, but we're like, oh, there's nothing really else that we want. So we just put the strainer back. Then 
I kid you not, we walked down this street. Outside of the stores, there was a sign on like maybe 10 to 15 stores in a row about the minimum purchase you would need to make to buy one thing in that store. And I kid you not, 3,000 pesos was the first one that we went to. And then there was one for like 5,000 pesos. And then there was one for like 10,000 pesos. And I kid you not, we walked by like three or four stores where there was a minimum amount of purchase where you needed to make a purchase of 20,000 pesos, 50,000 pesos at a different store, and finally 100,000 pesos. This store said, like one of those little tiny bazaars sells like, I don't know, spoons and like just random stuff. And on the sign, it said that you needed to spend 100,000 pesos worth of items. I literally could not, I couldn't believe it. And then like three or four people walked by and they just like looked at the sign. These stores where you had to make a 20,000, 50,000 or 100,000 minimum purchase, no one was in there. That's a lot of money. A minimum purchase to tell someone they have to make like a hundred dollar minimum purchase to buy one thing. And I kid you not, like look into their stores, they had like a whole bunch of things worth of like a thousand pesos because it's just like small little stuff. So you would mean to buy like a hundred products. It was too much for me. over to Palermo. Today the plan is that we are going to the planetarium finally. If you've watched one of my vlogs from like months ago, we tried to go for a time and we couldn't get tickets and we finally got tickets. We had to pay like 3,000 pesos each. I think the residential price as if like you're from Argentina was like 1,500. I think it's 1,200. 1,200 which is even a better price. So we had to pay a little bit more, but we're really excited. The loudest plane wants to go by right now. I swear every time I vlog, like the loudest noises just want to happen. And I think the show is supposed to be like 50 minutes and I'm really not sure what to expect, but I'm hoping that it's going to be very good. We're really excited. We're hanging out in a park right now until we have to go and we have like 20-ish minutes before we have to go. And it's Sunday morning. It's a beautiful morning. There's so many people out here in this park. They're riding bicycles, they're walking, they're running. They are like rollerblading. It's so cool. One of my favorite parts to go to of Buenos Aires is in the morning because there's just so much to do and see. There's such a great community. just got done with the planetarium. Honestly, I really liked it. The experience of it all was really cool. We've been wanting to go for a really long time. And I think the show in itself was like 50-ish minutes. If you do go though, you definitely want to make sure that you know a little bit of Spanish because the whole thing for like 50 minutes was like a narration in Spanish. And I think overall I understood about, I'd say about 80 to 85-ish percent of what was going on. Michael, what would you say? 12. <laughs> The hard part is though, like how many times have I learned about like the planets in Spanish or the solar system in Spanish or the galaxy in Spanish. So a lot of the words were like so new for me. So that why it was a little bit more difficult to understand. But if you know a little bit of Spanish, you'll be okay. It was another big, long walking day for Michael and I. We left our house here at like 10 o'clock and it's two o'clock, we just got back. And today my step count is 10,235 steps, which is a lot of steps. We did stop at the grocery store on our way back. Um, Michael's gonna make a rice casserole with broccoli and cheese in it, which I'm really excited for. It's like one of my favorite meals. And we got some cat food and I got, surprisingly, I had no idea they sold the spraying hair at Argentina, but I got Ritz crackers because I love Ritz. I'm a big fan of Ritz. So I have to 
see what the quality is like. First impressions is that they smell like Ritz, um, but also first impressions is that they don't really look like Ritz. They look a little bit burnt, like they've been in the oven for a little bit too long, but yeah, I would give them like a two out of 10. They were only 600 pesos for this full bag, but I do not recommend. There's definitely better crackers out there. And even the Medi Lunas we had today, like today, like the food choices I had have not been it. We went to a new place to get Medi Lunas for breakfast and they looked really good. But like when they were on our plate and when we were eating them, they were just like completely soaked. Like they were drenched. Like the Medi Luna and the bread itself was like wet. It was not a fun experience eating them, but they looked really good. And I would go back to that restaurant to like try other things because Michael also got a croissant and I think that was better than the Medi Luna, but the Medi Lunas literally were like soaked. Like I'm not sure how, if it was like just from butter or what, but I haven't had good food eating choices today. So I'm excited for this dinner because Michael makes it so, so well. But I'm gonna close the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure that you do because I would love for you to stay along for the long run. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and give it a thumbs up and comment down below because the engagement helps my channel so much. It helps me spread my videos to more people who are interested in it just like you. And thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Say bye guys, see ya.